Hey everybody, today we have our amazing Arbit training. We're, it's hosted by our amazing agent, Michelle. We're so happy to have her here. So for all your amazing agents, this training is just for you. Today and tomorrow, from eight to five, we're having our Arbit sales workshop. And it's been great. We wanna make sure everyone knows that the market has shifted and we can still net your home for the most top dollar and in your time frame. <laughs> so here today to learn about the Arbid training and Michelle's confidence her knowledge uh, she's just been teaching us the stuff that we need to know to go out there and help our clients sell their home what I learned is some of the wording that she presents to the seller when she's talking to them focus on the future what they're looking for like their heart desire, what they want out of the income of the sale of the property. What I learned today about the RB system is really about taking the time to know the customer, find out what is their hearts and desire, you know, being able to understand the pain and the pleasure in order to better help them in finding their dream home. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Omar and I'm with Team Elevate. It's a lot of great information on how to approach uh, our potential sellers that are coming our way, how to get all their their pain and their pleasure so we can focus on that more instead of just getting into the presentation into the arbit system because we got to focus on their demand of where they want to go first in order for us to sell their home because they don't want to be homeless or end up with two different properties. I'd really appreciate the detail that Michelle is going into by you know um, role playing give, giving us real life example. There are 28 sellers trying to sell their house in Alhambra but there's only eight buyers buying every month in the city of Alhambra. That means there's the months that sellers have to wait, the time that sellers have to wait in Alhambra to sell their home, it's gonna be three and a half months. Only 28% of the sellers in Alhambra were able to sell their house. That means 72% of the sellers right now are still trying to sell their house. They said the first number was 20, right? You need to enlarge that problem. So what she's doing now is now, so she's already demonstrated with this small number, Mr. And Mr. Seller, 28 homes you're competing with directly. Of those 28, there's only eight buyers in that pool that are buying. We found that most buyers, on average, we can enlarge that circle by at least five miles. Would you disagree with me? No, no, that's fine. So let's do that. So not only if we just look at Alhambra, there's 28 other sellers competing directly with your home. But if those buyers that you just said are doing the same thing that you did when you bought the house, we go up five miles. Now you're actually competing with 429 other sellers. Does that make sense to you, Mr. Seller? So you don't disagree with me that the buyers that are looking aren't just looking at this area, they may be looking at other outside areas. We choose to use five miles, that's where I'm coming up with that number. So not only is it 29, but it's potentially 429 other sellers that are competing for those buyers' attention. Does that make sense? <laughs> that's how you're, you're laying that out. She's enlarging the problem. So whatever they think of the price, whatever they were thinking, Michelle has just calmly, statistically proved. She's not arguing with them. She's just laying out the facts. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, uh, I wanna share something that's really near and dear to our heart. Our real mission here is to let you know that every referral you give us um, helps the kids for Children's Hospital. We're on a mission every year to, to raise approximately twenty-five to even $100,000 a year that we donate to the Children's Hospital of LA. I'm really here today to make sure that we get your home sold so that you can move to Tennessee, pay all cash, 
between five and 550 and pay all cash for that house um, in the next 60 days. And we want to make that as smooth as possible. There's a shocking fact out there that the majority, um, according to NAR statics, uh, statistics, the majority of uh, past clients would not go back to their, their previous agent that they helped sell their home. 70%, that means only 30% would go back. I'm very proud of the fact that once we found out the primary reasons, and some of those can be lack of communication, typically it's over-promising, under-delivering. Um, and as, as you can see, we've got uh, a myriad of lists here. Once we got that information back, we wanted to make sure that that didn't happen to, um, to you, our client. So we implemented some very important strategies, including our seller feedbacks. And what we have found is over 86% of our past clients would actually come back and do come back to help us sell their real estate needs or their, solve their real estate problems. So today, we are focusing specifically on how to position your client's home to make it sell the highest amount of money the least amount of house. When the buyers are looking to buy home in Mission Hills, which other area that they're looking? So Natalie said, when, I, when Natalie bought a home in Mission Hills, she's looking at all homes in San Fernando Valley within that five mile jackpot. That's what Michelle trying to teach you here today. That's competition. So your, your comparable so may be your competition, but your competition may not be comparable. Do you understand? Hi, my name is Vitria with your Home Sold Guarantee Realty and today uh, this is the second day, the last day for the RB training and I learned a lot, especially about how to you know, solve um, the seller's problem and then provide them solution and also the benefit for them. It's really important, uh, especially at this market that's changing. Hey, you hire me to sell your home because I already have the buyer. There's no other related agent on the planet who will position it that way. The reason no real estate agents on the planet can do that because most real estate agents, they work as a solo agent. The only reason we can say what we are saying because this is a team model. When we say a team model, we mean each individual human in the team has a specific role in the transaction. 